The reason I wanted to do this with John is because I can't think of anybody in the world who likes being touched less than you. You described me once as one hug away from a breakdown. I don't know if you remember that, but it stayed with me. Ah. Would I do that? I just can't think of a world in which I would touch someone. But you've got a daughter. I, I think I'm tactile with my daughter. Yeah. But then I think maybe I'm not. And maybe a cuddle therapist would say, this is why your daughter will be an alcoholic in 20 years, because you think you're hugging her, whereas actually, even putting the gloves on is weird for a father. Yeah. <laughs> Hello. Hi. Great to meet you. Nice Hi. to meet you. I'm Russell. Hi. Please, have a seat here. Lovely. Hi. This is Hello, John. John. Nice Hello. to meet you. Nice to meet you. Apparently, being touched releases stress, but I can't see that, because surely it adds stress. Yeah. If a stranger kind of comes up to you and goes, feel better now, don't you? Like, and it's that, innit? It's just, how are you... You're not happy, are you? No. So why do people do this? It's a very meditative experience, definitely, because when you are cuddled or hold, uh, you can close your eyes and completely unwind in your mind and I just do. enjoy the do space. You think? Also, it decreases adrenaline levels in your body, which is the main reason for, for feeling stressed. Yeah, yeah. My fear is that I'll start crying and something will come out and I can go from crying to fighting very quickly. <laughs> I think, let's let's do the cuddles now and let's seek some professional help <laughs> for, for the sentence. As soon as I cry, I get fighty. Very quickly. <laughs> right, shall I go first? Yeah, you go first. Oh, I'll, you go. Go. I'll go and wait. Good luck. See you. Have a nice. Thank you, John. I feel like you came out more upset than I did. For me, the strangest bit about it was the stood-up hug. Okay, let me know if you feel comfortable. Okay. Obviously, take some back. Sure. All right. So, we're hugging like yeah, that. Yeah, you can hug. All fine? Yeah, that's fine. And you can try God, to just relax. It feels weird, doesn't it? Isn't it weird? <laughs> do you mind if I do this, like a little bit stroking in your back? No. That's fine? Yeah, it's fine. Okay. That first one was the worst one. Yeah. Stood, Straight in there. Stood up. <laughs> so, okay, so we hug like this. Yeah, cute. And you can close your eyes again. I was so tense. Yeah. My back was aching from keeping my groin at, a, at what I felt was a respectful distance during that first hug. Yeah, yeah. And I never quite recovered from that. How are you feeling? Is this like okay? You're a little bit uncomfortable. Um, it's slightly uncomfortable. It's, slightly it's getting, uncomfortable. it's getting okay. less. Yeah. Can I squeeze you? Yes. <laughs> Did she make a little noise when she squeezed you tight? Let's squeeze. Mm. Oh, yeah. Is that? I think if you were cuddled right, you'd get all manner of noises out of you. I'd have to watch it back. <laughs> yeah, yeah, oh, exactly. shit, did I? Yay! <laughs> you feel your heart pressed against someone else's. Fuck, that freaked me out. Do you I know what I mean? was working so much harder than I think you were not to press my gut against her. I could barely breathe anyway. <laughs> were you, you're, you're classic fat thin. You look thin. Oh, yeah. But you're deceptive. Oh, yeah. I'm wearing seven bulldog clips at the moment. <laughs> so that means you can go maybe there. When she sat down, legs akimbo, I sat opposite her, legs akimbo, and I thought I was supposed to shuffle forward. Yeah. Like, docking. Yes. Actually, yeah. opposite around. That oh. way, yes. Then I was like, oh, good, that's much less awkward. And actually, I quite liked the leaning back, because the cushion was there. If you didn't have a cushion, I think that's different. How are you feeling now? Yeah, I like this. This is comfortable. Yeah, I'm glad. Well, I'm amazed you've got a cushion. Oh, there was no talk cushion. of cushion for me. Well, she seven just... or eight cushions, and she was in a full hazmat suit. She had the kind of moves that we've both got on dogs. She knew exactly where to touch us. She sees you as a pug, she sees me as a chihuahua, and she knows exactly what these, what these fools need doing. I instantly relaxed when we started talking more. If you watch TV, what shows would you watch? <laughs> Mostly what I watch is Scandinavian horrific crimes. No way. So mm. it's a wonder I trust you at all, to be honest. Yeah. Given what I've seen other people do. <laughs> and if you don't mind, I put my hand over it. Yes. Like, I, yep. The lying down bit, I really enjoyed. I can I put my leg here? Yep. That's good. I had it like that in, in, you know, sort of a headlock. Did you have the arm around the head? Yeah. Ooh. And uh, put your back over there, exactly. And 
with your head and yeah, that's good. Yeah. And uh, if you feel comfortable, you can stay that way. Or where would I put my hands? Your hands, if I can actually. <laughs> Probably not like that. <laughs> I like how you are kind of afraid to them. You can just, uh, uh, you can put them wherever you feel comfortable. Like yeah. there, that's fine. That's yeah. fine. When she put her leg over like that is a move I've only ever had done in a bed with a woman who has just had an awful time. It feels like you've got a bum deal there, but huh? luckily I'm wearing deodorant, <laughs> so it's, it's all fine. Yeah, I mean I'm comfortable, but you are sure? you comfortable? Yeah, I'm fine. Yeah. I'm glad. Yeah. yeah. I got so panicked, I just, I started just talking. If you could eat anybody, who would you eat? Eat anybody? Yeah. Except are you talking about human beings? I am, yeah. Oh this, my. Is, this is all hypothetical. Do I, do I have to respond to this question? I'm just saying, <laughs> otherwise you're going to die. Yeah. I pushed her on this. I said, you're on an island. Who would you eat? Tom Daly. Oh. <laughs> you tell me he doesn't look delicious. I don't want a George Foreman grill. Got a George Foreman on the island, have you? It's starting to look like you've planned this. <laughs> Shall we do the closing hug? Yes. Yeah? There we go. Yep. Thank you very Thank much. You that was nice to meet Thank you. Nice to meet you too. How, Best how do you feel now? Just to check everything is all right? I feel more relaxed, I'm yeah. Glad. I definitely feel more okay. relaxed than at the beginning. Yeah. Have so a I good day. Right. And you. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye bye. As a man who's uncomfortable with physical contact, it feels a bit like a parachute jump, like I'm glad I've done it. It made me think. If you could be like this in your real life with your loved ones, it would be better. I will make an effort to be more tactile with my wife because um, I think she needs it more than I do. But when she says to me, oh, you're making an effort, what happened? And I say, a Finnish woman touched me up for 45 minutes and I realised I've been neglecting you. We'll probably have a little dip after that, I'll yeah, be honest. Yeah. And then we'll have to claw it back with what I imagine will be some regular marriage therapy.